That's what she does when I when I turn on the camera. She she smiles <laughs> like she's saying cheese. That's what she. <laughs> Sure. What's up, everybody? What's what going up, on? What's up? What's up, everybody? My name is Ryan. I'm Wesley. What's up? And we are from Intentional Lifestyle, showing network marketers how to live that dream lifestyle. We can do it for you. We have uh, we've been in the network marketing industry for um, uh, going on four. Years. He always says like for himself, like how long you have been. You in haven't the even you 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 were out you were out the game. She was out the game. Well, I started before you. Oh. oh. So cumulatively <laughs> together, over a decade of network marketing experience, we have uh, we we've successfully built teams in the thousands and, and recruited uh, over 600 people uh, in our career. It, it hasn't always been like that. You know, we, we definitely have had our struggles, uh, yeah. right? We've had our struggles, yeah, but yeah, we're yeah. here to end your struggles so you don't have to go through the same thing, all right? So, what's up, everybody? What up? In today's video, if you're watching <laughs> the recording and you're wondering why the hell should you even watch this thing, okay, because we're gonna be talking about cool. that. And we're going to be talking about a very, very, very misused tool in the network marketing world, and it's meetup.com. So I know a lot of you out there are probably like, um, what the hell is meetup.com? Uh, and some of you guys are probably out there like, oh, yeah, I've got a meetup account, but you probably never use it. Okay. Um, so we're going to be giving you some tips on how we're using meetup.com uh, to meet people, to network people, uh, to network with people, yeah, on and yeah, offline. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, for tons, tons of things. All right. So, what, do you want to start it? Or? I was going to say, so one, I want to know, like, so, pop a number one in the comment section if if you even know what meetup.com is. Like, if you, you've heard of it, you know, maybe you've got an account, you've got the app on your phone, like... Just pop a number one in the comment section, at least if you know what meetup.com is, right? At least, you know, that way we can kind of figure out, you know, who's, you know, in the, in the know, okay? And, uh, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And let me know, like, if you don't know what it is, like, let us know. Say, look, I don't, what, well, say, what's meetup, right? Just, it was, it was, it was okay. There was a time where, you know, we, we had first heard about it. Um, I think the, the cool thing about meetup is, like three years ago, I know for me, when I went to the internet to say, hey, look, I'm done with this like old school stuff. Do you have an app on your um, I do. I don't. I don't. don't. I don't. I don't nice. think I do. Nice. Nice. One. I use it on my computer. Gosh. It's on my computer. We're doing a live computer. and he doesn't even have it. Nice. I use it on my computer. Going. I don't have to have the app. Okay. There's an app for that. Oh, um, however, okay, when go I first on. got it, or when I first heard about Meetup, it was the ironic part was I was like, okay, I'm taking my business online. I don't want to do it the old way. Stop it, Tanya. Um, and the <laughs> ironic part was when I went for advice on like how to grow my network marketing business using the internet, a lot of people were like, use Meetup.com. Right. Right. And so, I think it's one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So even last week, like, <clears throat> so I'm sitting at the table. And then I get this little notification that a meetup group was happening like 10 minutes away from me and it was about outsourcing. I'm like, oh, well, okay, cool. Because we are looking for a local person to do, you know, some admin stuff and help with the kids or whatever. So a local meetup group would be perfect for me to go to meet other people that are looking for outsourcing right. opportunities and who live in the area who are from the area so they know tons of other people they know you know high school kids that might could babysit or you know right. whatever they know all the people you don't know right, really right because we just got here right so. right so uh, you know so one i would give some advice you know um one really open your mind to how the internet works the internet doesn't just mean you have to stay on the internet you can use the internet to kind of corral people that you want to get around right. offline, which is typically the faster way to, to build relationships and, and, and really see if someone is a good fit for working with you or not, you know? So I would, I would say one piece of advice is to at least 
open your mind. Don't think that the internet's just the internet and don't think that offline is just offline because chances are that belief will leave you kind of stuck, right? Yeah, guys. I mean, Meetup for me, I've been on Meetup for a few years now. And I mean, Meetup for for me has brought me so many people and so many opportunities. Right. Um, it's just not like about Denise. business. Right, right. right. With, so right. as you guys know, we have our own section in a magazine now. Um, but I met the founder of the magazine like three years ago from a meetup group that she put together. It was a law of attraction meetup group. I went, met her. We've kept a relationship over the past few years and just offered us our own section in magazine. So these are people that you can meet at the different meetups. Right. I mean, so for, for me, like when we moved here, I was like, well, I don't know anybody here. I would like to make some friends here. <laughs> so what better way right. than start a meetup group? Right. And so, like, my meetup group that I have here is just, you know, it's about business. It's about um, entrepreneurship, mindset, 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 law of attraction, all kinds right. of stuff for, like, the tags I put in my group. And so I have, like, a variety of just awesome people coming to my meetup groups that now, like, I know, like, 30 people here already. Yeah, that's, like, more than 20 <laughs> if, you, if you count, you know, if you're counting. But, like, with the outsourcing, you know, I'm all over the place. Sorry, but whatever. You get the point. I'm just trying to, like, show you how valuable this is. Like, right. last week when I went to this outsourcing, um, you know, I told, we want a ceiling fan put up in a room. We don't put up ceiling fans. I don't. I won't. And... Uh, Taking referrals is way better than just going out there and finding a random person to right. let into your home and work on your right. electrician. So, anyways, right. so, so if you're like, said, so, like, I'm no, not, no. wasn't done. No. Gosh. You see, it's like, you know, it's, was I done? Could have easily been like, was I done? Hey, babe, hey, just one more, just one more thing. I wasn't babe. done with the story. If you were just listening more, to my story, you would know more it wasn't thing, done. So I was like, hey. I'm looking for an electrician to put a ceiling fan up. And this lady was like, oh, I've been using this guy for years. Here's his number. Cool. Got us, got ourselves an electrician. Boom! That easy. <laughs> Boom. If you need, a, I mean, you need, yeah, feisty Look, is not the because word. Because you don't live with him, girl. Oh, you don't live with her. <sighs> We're happy. <laughs> <laughs> Mwah. Mm. Boom. Kisses. Um, so a piece of advice, if you're, if you're, so a lot of you are probably like this, you're probably saying, okay, um, maybe I'm not there. I'm re maybe I'm not ready to like start my own meetup yet. Right. You know, maybe there's some type of fear that's kicked in. Maybe you're just not kind of ready. So, so pop a number two, if that's kind of how you feel, if you feel like, Hey, meetup is a cool tool, but I'm, maybe I'm just not ready to start my own meetup. You don't need to yet. just go. Okay. Perfect. So, <laughs> so here's some advice. One. Um, well, here's kind of what happens on meetup. One, go to some meetups, okay? Go to meetups, and honestly, they're just like going into a Facebook group. You want to get to know the admins. Get to know the culture and get to know, like, who are the admins in this group because those are the people that you want to know. Those are the people that you want to have on your side because a lot of times, people will sell their list. And anything, I mean, you know just as well as I know, in network marketing, the money's in your list, right? The money's in your network. So um, you can, I mean, I'm not selling, I'm not saying everybody's going to sell their, their meetup, but, um, you know, even with her last week, um, she goes to the meetup, and then the lady says, hey, you're pretty smart, you're pretty savvy at this thing, <laughs> um, do you want to run our meetup next month? And, and the cool thing about that is that creates a lot of authority. Right. You know, all of a sudden you're the person up in front of the room with the mic and, you know, now you're the person that's saying, hey, this is how you do things. And people are looking for, an they're looking for answers and they'll come to you. So that it creates a lot of authority. Um, and, and I mean, uh, that's, that's one thing you need if you want to make it easier for people to look at your presentation. You want to make it easier to sell your products, um, you know, be in the front of the room. Um, if you're looking and you know, hey, in the next six months, three months, I want to set up a meetup group, um, I would go to a few meetup groups, take what you like, and leave what you, what you don't, uh, and, and ask for advice. You know, like, you know, ask the people that are admins, hey, you know, what did it take to start your meetup group? How'd you find the location? You know, ask for advice. It's perfectly fine to ask for help. Yeah, but guys, I wouldn't even worry about 
starting one. I no, mean, no, no, I no, no, used no. Meetup, and I went to Meetups for three years before right. I started my own. And the only reason I started my own here is because I didn't see another active entrepreneur group. And so that's why I started mine. But, I mean, I went to Meetups and just met some amazing entrepreneurs and just amazing people. Right going to meetup groups that are already in place. Right. You definitely don't have to start your yeah. own meetup group. I'm not saying, I'm saying if you do want to start your own meetup group, um, you know, then if, if that's your goal, if that's saying, hey, look, I do want to start my own meetup group, um, you know, you may be in an area where you didn't find something that you like and you're saying, you know what, there's a, there's an opportunity for this. Um, right. You know, just kind of go to, go to a few and see how they're run, see how they're set up and, um, and, and jump in. Um, Another piece of advice I would say to effectively use meetup.com is to don't go with an agenda, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, um, sorry, yeah, I'm yeah, going yeah, yeah, to yeah, cut you yeah, off. Cut me off. off. What no. the? <laughs> <laughs> no, because we all know building relationships is key. Right. So go to meet people and build relationships. Don't go with an agenda like he said. Yeah, make you friends. Know, like, just make friends. Like, seriously, you don't know, like, what these relationships are going to do sure. months down the road, years down the road. I mean, just build relationships and have those people in your corner and just encourage each other. For sure. For sure. Um, I saw a question on there. It said, what do you look for? You know, honestly, um, this, that question. Whatever. Right. You look whatever. for whatever. I mean. They have workout groups. Look, I clearly am more knowledgeable in meetup groups because you don't even have it on your phone. So... Right. What what do they do? What kind of groups are in there? What kind of groups? There's, there's also I have it yeah. on my computer, so apparently computers don't count. Okay. Anywho, I mean, how? Uh, anyway. Look for things anyway, that you're interested. They in. have I mean, cooking groups. They have walking groups. They have hiking groups. They have uh, wine groups. They have couples groups. They have all types of groups. So find whatever interest you like find some fun stuff to do just get out there and meet people like he yeah. said don't go with an agenda so you don't right. necessarily have to find small business groups right. or entrepreneur groups or whatever you, you yeah. can find whatever groups find a hiking group right. i've been on hiking groups don't overthink fun. this like yeah. definitely don't overthink it like don't think like okay cool i've got to find you know this uh the the network marketers group in the yeah, area no. you know you don't have to no. do that because at the end of the day like um, you know, you want people like when you go out to eat, like you want people to be like, Hey, like, don't you run that? I mean, people start to see you as like the authority around an area, you know what right. I mean? And that can go a really long way. You know, we've heard, um, you know, a few of our mentors talk about the effectiveness of what they've done offline. And, um, you know, a yeah. lot of you guys, a lot of you guys know, we, we, we coach with, um, with Ray Higdon and I can tell you. There are a ton of people that go to his events that are in Florida. You know what I mean? And he's in Florida. So I, I, I would vouch to say if you live in Southwest Florida, you probably know who Ray Higdon is, right? So it, 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 a lot of that came with, you know, the, the meetings and, and, the, and the, the offline stuff while doing online things. You know what I mean? It, it, it's, you can use both very effectively. You just got to learn how to use it right. So, I mean, I would say... You know, yeah. go out there and use meetup.com. There's yeah. so many people that don't just know Just to it. meet people. Just to meet people. And look at the different meetups that they've had. I mean, if they have, like the one I saw last week, they were going to talk about outsourcing. That's one that I want to go to. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at, you know, but it doesn't have to all be about business. You can do, like, fun right. things, like I said. Like, right. find a workout one, find a walking one. Find They have, like, single moms ones. They have stay-at-home ones. They have all kinds of stuff. Just find whatever interests you. And join a bunch of them, and then see what. Yep, and just make sure you go to them. You know yeah, what I mean? yeah, make yeah. Sure you go. yeah. Don't be a dick. Okay. <laughs> She's a little butter. No. <laughs> no, 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 no. Well, maybe no. Yeah. I don't even care. I don't even that care. Was a, that I don't was, even care. That was a butter. I don't even state. care. That was a little butter. That was a little butter. <laughs> I don't even care though. <laughs> no, look. If you say that you're gonna go and you RSVP. Make it a point to go. Just like, be, don't just go and RSVP for every group and then be, don't go to any of them. Be a person of your word. Be a person of right. integrity. Be a person of your word. Um, and, and that goes for anything. If you say you're going to have a phone call with someone, you know, do the phone call. If you say you're going to do something for free for somebody, do it for free. You know, you may not even like it. And there's plenty of stuff that I've, I've agreed to. I'm like, damn it, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. Um, but you be a person of your word no matter what. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, I was going to say one last thing up. You know, it is an offline thing, obviously, right? But remember that even though it's an offline thing, make sure you migrate the people that show up to your meetups or the meetups that you go to, migrate those people to your online world. You know what I mean? Yeah. Make sure you get people on your email list and get people to your Facebook. Um, that way, when you're not at the meetup, they can continue. It gives them more of a reason to show up. It gives them more of a reason to yeah. you know connect with you. So make sure you're migrating those people um, from from one place to another. So like what I do, <clears throat> if it's my meetup, right? I have like a, a form. Well, I haven't been like super professional about it. I have like a piece of paper. Sign the paper, y'all. I have a piece of paper where I write name, email, phone number. But you can put together like a nice professional An one. An easy form that people can. Anyways, type. anyways. And then people just write their email and number. <clears throat> so then they're added to my email list. But what I also do is I just say like, because everybody passes around business cards for the most part. I don't have business cards. I tell them to find me on Facebook. So everybody takes 20 seconds to look up my name on Facebook, I spell it out, and boom, there they are. Now they can see everything that I'm doing online. Or get really cool wristbands that have your hashtag on them and pass them up. I'm not supposed to show them yet. Oopsie. Gosh. <laughs> Y'all have mail coming. <laughs> if, only if, <laughs> only if. <laughs> You're a part of intentional lifestyle. So, if you want some cool wristbands that you don't know that you're you getting have in the mail, eighty-seven of them on, they don't even know which one you're talking about. The one that looks awesome. <laughs> and we're off. It's okay. Can you see? Can you see? It's gonna be backwards, so it's okay. You can. You get the point. And I have a coaching call. All right, guys, awesome. we're out of here. Awesome bracelet. We're out of here, my friends. Hopefully, this helped you out. If it did, feel free to press the share button. Let everyone know that um, Meetup is a really cool tool. You can use it in yeah. your business, and uh, you can use it in your life. You can go, make, go out there and make some really cool friends. Um, if there's anything that we can do for you inside of your network marketing business, whether it's getting more leads, whether it's getting more exposure, more traffic, uh, more closure, whatever it is um, inside of your network marketing business that we can help with, feel free to reach out to us. Um, if you want to head over uh, to... Um, our new website, mm, not, yet. not yet. Don't head not over there. Yet. Don't, don't head over there yet. So, so feel free to reach out to um, us. We got some cool under stuff. Construction. We got some but. cool stuff. Uh, rocking. If you guys have questions about Meetup, just hit me up. Yeah. Because um, we'll help you out. Yeah. All righty, guys. All right. Have an awesome day. Love guys. you, See Zach. You guys. It's in the mail. Look out. Mm -hmm. The check is in the mail. The check is in the mail. We'll see you later. <laughs>